Good morning, fishing freaks. Welcome to the V-Log. Uh, traveling down here to the site of the 2017 Bassmaster Classic today. And we've got another interesting thing going on. I'm fishing with a, another uh, collegiate bass fishing champion. Mr. Josh, what's going on, sir? Good morning. How's it going? We got good vibes out here. We got two champions. Let's go see if we can catch some bass on this lake where there's probably going to be a lot of big bass caught in March. Definitely. Yeah. It's so going to be a big bass caught today. I like the way you think, dude. That's the plan. We're rolling in the old kitty today, the old bass cat boat. This is Josh's boat. It's pretty good conditions. These are like big bass conditions today, I feel like. Big. A little, little misty conditions, you know? Just calm. Ooh. Son, don't get me started. Here's the gear. Got a little uh, little chatterbait tied on as well. The jerk bait. You guys are probably tired of seeing that. Water temp is in the high 50s today, which is not bad at all. And we've got a uh, steady barometric pressure. I think when I checked it this morning, it was like 29.8 or something like that. Start off with a little crank here on these rocks. Rocks and cranks, they go well together. It's proven bass science. I'm fighting off a turtle uh, in my underoos right now. It's a tough situation. Too much coffee this morning. This is a River to Sea Biggie Smalls. It's kind of a uh, larger square bill, beefed up square bill. 50s is good. All right, we're making a little move. First set of rocks did uh, didn't pan out, got hung up a few times. We're gonna shift around, see if we can find some more rocks. These, these don't really have any bait on them, which you like, like to find shad in the winter time. It's always a bonus. Spot number deuce, coming at you. Five degrees outside so that little that little run right there yeah that was a little brisk brisk on my old beard whiskers this morning <laughs> shaving we're at the highway got the old rip wraps it's uh, pretty, pretty gnarly over here. This lake is, is known for having big bass in it and also being right next to uh, the city of, of Cotter. So what was that, man? It's the Hydra Wave. It's getting, getting them. Oh, dude. Well, we got some bait getting smashed here after we turned on the hydro wave. Definitely bait. Oh yeah, you can see the bass swirling in them, dude. Yeah. They are up in there. I got like a trot line or something. This is something heavy. This is heavy line. Ugh. Ugh, I gotta get out my trusty bass knife. Cut what it. You got one? There we go. First one of the day. Came on a crank? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. There we go. Let's see what we got here. You never know on Conroe. It could be a slaunch donkey. That's a good one. That's a good one there. That's probably four and a half. Come on, baby. Got him? You want me to grab him? I'll grab him. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. There she is. Oh, that one's been caught before. It's got line hanging out of its, its yeah, it thing. Is this our wow. lure? Wow. Can't see it. Can't see the lure. It swallowed a lure. You can see the line. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's coming out. Ooh, it Look is. at it. <laughs> it's coming out. It's like a slurpy, slurpy worm. This is wild. Doing some bass surgery. Yeah, let's get the crankbait out first. Yes. 
There it goes. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. The hook. Look at that. Yeah, you see the hook. I'm going to come in through the side here and see if we can. It's a Cinco. That's a uh, Ocho. It is an Ocho. It's a Strike King Ocho. Good old caffeine scent. There we go. Hey. All right. We saved you, buddy. Trocar Ooh. hook and an Ocho. Oh. Nice fish, though. Another one. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This bass has been eating. Oh, my gosh. He's pooping it. Look at this. <laughs> what the? Oh, whoa. 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 Oh, no. No. Oh, we got to. It'll get through. Oh, through man. A couple days. Oh, man. That's wow. crazy. That oh. fish has been eating some plastic. <laughs> hey, you know what? He, I bet he's happy you got caught today. Yeah. We did you a favor, buddy. Yeah, he's a hungry Howie. Hey. Wish you a, a rest of a good bow movement there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, good luck getting the rest of that out. He should be feeling better now. He feels, probably feels like me. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Nice. And here is the remnants. This just came out of that bass's butthole. This came out of its mouth. So he was not having a good situation going on there. And this is a fresh looking hook. This is a nice hook, trocar hook. Not bad at all. Yeah, so <laughs> we did a little surgery. Saved the day on that bass. down there we are off the bank now We've got a little buoy out here we're uh, way off a point some might call a winter haunt got a little cover down there feels good All right. A rat we just moved to another spot here and we are uh, continuing our, our quest I have not caught a not caught a bass yet which uh, I'm no stranger to out here on this lake but you know what old like and says Dang, I think I just had one. Yeah, because it when I went to jerk it there he is. We got it. The little guy. Came back and got it. Is that a spot? It's a spot. Wow. That's a big spot for here. Yeah. Caught me a big Conroe spot. This is the same jerk bait I was fishing with lunkers the other day. I broke all the hooks off, so I had to change them in there. Like sticky, sharp. Got them right under the chin. <sighs> all right. There's a big spot. Lake Conroe, not known for its spotted bass populations. So uh, Josh just marked us some, some fish out here on one of these these little uh, little ledges out here near the the main creek channel. That's a good place to look for a winter bass when it's cold on any lake. Um, I'll show you guys right here. This is what we're looking at. We've got some bass that are positioned around these sh these shad, and they just kind of they kind of move with those shad. The shad like that deep water. 
this time of year and they'll move out put it on the lake they'll get like 20 30 feet deep so we're gonna try you cranking right now i'm cranking okay we got a buoy out and we're just gonna try to get one of those intercept one of those fish that we just saw down there josh is utilizing a lure knocker to unhang his crankbait just like that and there you go you just saved yourself $12.99. Meanwhile, I'm gonna lose my jig. Josh is finally, finally hooked up on a crankbait fish up here. Looks like a pretty decent one. Let's see what we got. It's not a drum, is it? Oh yeah, it's a nice largemouth. That is a fatty, fatty McFatterson. Oh, he just choked the crankbait. Come here, baby. You get him right in between those hooks. Are you belly landing? There we go. That's a chunk wad. You think that one's ready to move up and lay some eggs or what? Oh yeah. That's how you like to see it right there. Nice one. Yeah. What do you think that one is? A, that's a fiver for sure. Yeah. Maybe five and a half for that belly. Yeah. Looks so. Nice. All right, get her un, undone. Back to the lake. Look at that belly. Look at that. <laughs> That is a sow belly. Nice thing when it's cold is their mouths are hard so you don't lose them as much on those crankbaits. Yeah, harder to get out though. Yeah. All right. At least we're back, right. back into the depths. Fat. Some water, sweetheart. That's a pretty spot. Yeah. Nice, bro. All right. You fist pump on that one. That was well deserved. Well, after that nice little dandy there, little old JB threw in the boat, we're gonna take it in. I gotta get back to the house so I can, uh, so I can let Winston out. He's been locked up all day. Stephanie's not there. It's a whole other story I'll get into later. Overall, Lake Conroe today was its typical experience for me. It's like, there's, you always catch a big one. It's like a random big one and it's hard to get on a pattern. Uh, the fish are in there, just like, it's hard to catch. I've never really got on one of those days where you just slam them. They just like big crankbaits out here, don't they? They do. Uh, deep cranking is a really good way to catch them. Keith Combs won out here a couple times doing that, and uh, kind of year round. But last week it was uh, really good, but I think maybe these fish kind of fed up on a bunch of shad, and uh, they weren't really wanting the crankbait as much yeah. today. After that one that you caught, I would say they have been feeding. <laughs> So um, Josh is actually fishing, he's still in college, he's fishing a lot of the, uh, the college tournaments, he's also fishing uh, any other tournament he can get, get into. So go follow him, what's your Instagram? JB Fishing. Yeah, JB Fishing. Uh, you can go follow him and see all his big fish picks. One day we're going to come out here and figure them out together, right? Oh yeah. Maybe uh, springtime. Springtime. Alright. We're going to take it to the house and go see old Winston, check up on him, see how he's doing. Man, guys, tough day on the water today, but man, that's been Lake Connor for me since the first time I ever fished it. You come across one of those big fish every once in a while, but I've never been able to put together a solid sack of big fish. So there's big ones living in there. I would definitely stay tuned to the Bassmaster Classic. You're going to see some giant sacks wait in there. And I'm going to go out there a few more times and, and kind of try to learn it a little bit more and show you guys some... Uh, some some big fish hopefully but right now i've got to go see winston he's been left alone here for you know a while today and stephanie's not here so we're about to go inside and see him he's going to be off his rocker you're going to see one excited little marshmallow he's going to go grab his little fox his favorite toy and he's going to freak out oh winston oh i know i know get your fox get your fox get your fox get your fox Bitch fox. Yeah. Hey. Hey. 
Yeah. I know. I know. I know you're excited. I'm good. I only caught one fish today, so sorry. There's not a whole lot of smells going on. Hey, thanks for coming along for the adventure today, guys. Make sure you uh, subscribe if you haven't already to this channel and go follow the Instagram account where you can see all sorts of interesting photos. Maybe even see a little bit of this guy right here. Yeah. See you guys on the next one.